Hi, everyone. Uh, I wanted to show you a little bit about the Hopin booth. And so here I am. I'm in a booth right now. And you can see that I'm in Acme Education Technology Solutions booth. This booth has been set up for a live session. And as all live sessions, it also has what's called a backup. And so if you're not actually live, because you can't be there all the time, you can tell it to instead display a Google slideshow, in which case here it is, this Google slideshow, and I could advance through that as a user. Or I can uh, show a YouTube video and it would instead have a YouTube video here that the users could push play on and watch that YouTube video. But I wanna show you a little bit about the live session piece. So if you were trying to do a live session, whether it's just simply live Q&A or actually drive a bit more of a presentation uh, with folks, so right here, you can see this button turn on uh, toggle to turn on the live session. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And this is going to start shortly. There we go. This is turned blue. So now it's ready for me. I'll click on the share audio and video. And there it goes. Now, normally, probably the first time you do this, it's going to prompt you and ask you which camera, which microphone, so on and so forth. I've already done that. So we didn't see that part. Anyway, down here, you can see there's the, you know, turn the video camera on and off, turn the microphone on and off. Here's the share screen button. Here's the moderation panel. So let me first show you the share screen button. So if I wanted to actually show a slideshow, for example, as opposed to like, you know, holding up my pen to show them my wonderful thing. I, this is what we sell, right? Uh, but instead you wanted to show them a slideshow for some, for, you know, had information, whatever. I can click on this and I get some options. Probably the easiest way to do this is you can either have an application window. So if you had PowerPoint or something like that up and running, but I find it's actually a little simpler if you use a Chrome tab and you have a set of Google Slides loaded there. So I can select that slideshow and say share. So here's this other tab I already had open. Uh, but right now it gets a little awkward. This is back, this is what the, the attendees would see. They see you and they see your slides. Uh, but to control the slides, I have to keep bouncing back and forth. So what I'm actually gonna do is this, I'm gonna drag this tab off. Oops, try it again, drag it off. So it's a separate tab and I'm gonna resize it, make it a little bit smaller, push it off here to the corner, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and present that. And so now you can see that to the viewer, uh, it's now just in slide mode, right? And with this one being frontmost, I'll click on it. I could use my arrow keys just to advance the slide. So I could be talking to somebody and, and sharing a little bit about my product, answering questions, whatever it might be but I can go through these slides to show them my slides that might have other prepared information materials for them. In the meantime, they can still see me, we can still talk. So it may just be that you simply have four or five static slides like this that depending on what you're talking about, you simply bring up the appropriate slide, right? So it's a lot like having worked in a booth, sometimes you simply have to turn around and grab something off a table, say, oh, well here, let me show you this, right? And you pull up one little artifact versus another, something, uh, some one product or another. Same kind of thing here. Now, some, some of these things may be easy where you literally can just pick them up and say, oh, well, right here, see, we have a phone and we can sell phones and whatever, and I can talk about my phone. Uh, but it may be easier also sometimes to have slides with information, and so you can, you can have those there. Okay, so that's the, I, I find the easiest way to share a slideshow with users. Uh, and then, of course, you can always hit the stop button and that will stop and just goes back to here. If you have questions, jeff at vitalearn.org. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.